Good morning, everyone. My name is Kathleen Zemanski. I'm a business feng shui master, business astrologer, and the creator of the Time Blazer business management system. And I've decided to start doing a little bit of a series on feng shui because I've been doing a lot of stuff about timing and, uh, uh, and astrology. But really, I think that when we start bringing all these tools back together into one space, in one place, and use them in conjunction with each other, that's when you're really going to start seeing some big shifts in your life. Now, there's a lot of misconceptions about feng shui out there. I realize that I do practice classical feng shui, which is basically really always looking at the timing. That's why the time blazer is so important. That's the energetic calendar that's personalized to you, but your space should be personalized to you as well. So sometimes people think that you kind of set it and forget it. Well, in some respects, that's true. If you want to play at kind of this level, if you want to start leveling up everything in your life, and I mean everything in your life, your personal relationships, your health, your your business, all of the things that uh, are really all encompassing in everyone's life, then you have to start playing with a different set of tools. And so this series is all about looking at the monthly flying star of the space. And it doesn't matter whether you are in a large space or you're renting just one room in either a office suite or one room within a home. I know a lot of things have shifted and now more than ever because of this pandemic, we are now looking at space as being a pivotal and crucial part of improving your life. Believe me, what is happening in your life is happening in your space or vice versa what's happening in your space it is a direct reflection of your life all right so let me go over to my powerpoint here and let's see if we can start looking at some things that are happening so first of all what we have is the um, year of the rat and that's the thing that we need to understand is that the year of the rat is now looking at a very different and unique set of elements and opportunities so it's been a trying year as we all know um, and there's always big shifts that are happening and these happen around the third fourth fifth around the but this year it happened on the fourth of of February and we had dramatic shifts this year. This is the year of the rat, so it's the beginning of a new cycle. It is the beginning of a new decade, so that's um, a new cycle as well. And we're on the cusp of what's called period nine. I'm not going to get into too much period nine, but if you would like to know more about anything, about feng shui, about astrology, about timing, favorable timing to take the right action at the right time so you can have um, opportunities with all of your contracts, your proposals, all of your clients, then you want to start doing things on a favorable day and avoid the days that are in that have pitfalls. Well, the same is going to be true of the space. You want to avoid the pitfalls of the space as well. So this basically is my business model. It's person, space, and time. And truthfully, it's person, space, and time and spirit. But we're going to break these down piece by piece. But before we go any further, what I would like you to do is for you to just click down below. I would like you to make any comments or uh, share my channel, subscribe, of course, and then you're going to want to hit that bell to make sure that you receive the most up-to-date information. And my, I'm going to even say my things that I'm going to be presenting to you, you're going to want to take action today because if you watch this a month from now, that energy is now going to shift into a different sector. So we want you to do your long term, of course, we want you to do your annual like planning and scoping that out. And then, of course, you're going to want to do your uh, then you're going to want to do, you know, this monthly updates to really tap into the best opportunities. All right. So here we go. We're going to start talking about um, the first the first 
uh, piece, if you will, and that's your business astrology. Now that, as you saw on this dial, it says 33, 33, 33. Well, in some respects, I'm just going to go to this chart as I talk through that one slide, because I want you to start downloading some of these free tools that I have for you to tap into. So first of all, go to www.freebusinessastrology.com. That link is also below. And you may want to run the charts of all the people that you're sheltering in place with. Now, there's an enormous amount of information about my astrology software, but what we're really going to be talking about is the year, month, day, and hour, somewhat the destiny cycles, but um, really it's more for your information right now, um, but it is relevant for you to understand what are the energies that are happening for each and every one of these pillars. Again, a link below, I have the month of the goat. Um, so it's talking about the animal of the goat, but all 12 animals are on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and just click to find out the animals that are in your chart. And this is already going to give you a pretty big perspective on what's happening for you this year. But as you as i started to say that you know in a perfect world we have 33 percent of your uh, of your astrology taking care of business we have 33 percent of your space taking care of business and 33 percent of the time um, using the time blazer well sometimes you're going to have some animals in your chart that are going to slow you down uh, some of the animals are going to give you life lessons if you will but knowing this ahead of time and how to maneuver around them you still can have breakthrough opportunities. For example, anyone that has a horse in their chart, uh, of course, they're going to um, have some trials and tribulations this year because it is the year breaker with the year of the uh, rat. But um, there are great opportunities all the way around nonetheless. So just look, look for those opportunities. But now that we know that not everybody has a perfect chart, then we have to start looking at some other components as well. And I did, again, want to uh, tell you just a little bit about the goat. Uh, there's I'll go more extensively in the other YouTube videos, but just know that the goat has a five-star month happening for them. And so basically it is a great month for you to, to really like uh, understand some really important things that you can really make some breakthroughs. It's the number one animal in 2020, and we are in the month of the goat right now because it is the month of July. This is my time blazer calendar. I'll tell you how to get that in just a few minutes as well for absolutely free as well. But just very briefly, and I think this is an important concept for you guys to understand, your month, your year of birth is about your reputation, your marketing, your, you know, what you're doing on social media. This is really important, how far and wide, and then how can you level up your relationships and your network so you can get more business. Your month of birth is about your career and your character. Your day of birth is really about you, your personal development, your mindset, and your partnerships and the uh, uh, hour of birth that is going to be about your investments and your life purpose. Like what do you do with that money once you get that? Um, and again, down below, you can click on a link to figure um, out more of the um, GOAT information. Now, and the reason I keep going over this, you guys, is because it's all-encompassing. If you start taking them apart and only use one piece of it, well, it's like, you know, playing with a half a deck and trying to win a game. You're not going to be able to make as many strategic maneuvers if you're only playing with a third of the deck, right? So we want you to play with everything. So now we're going to talk about space and we're going to talk about the flying star of the space. And we're going to do this uh, month by month. And, you know, again, if this is something that you like, please let me know. If you don't like it, then we'll switch it up for you. So now we're going to look at the, the annual feng shui dial. And uh, yesterday I talked about the center. This is where we started out. So if you want to listen to that, just go back and listen to those other um, details. And then day by day, we're going to just get around this whole feng shui dial here. Um, so basically what we're going to talk about today is the south. And the south is... Uh, Southeast, excuse me. We're going to be talking about the Southeast Palace because we're going to go clockwise now around. So first of all, from an annual perspective, what we have is leadership. So, you know, all of these standing individually, this is what this particular 
chart is saying that in the southeast if you want to become a leader um, I also look at this as an influencer so if you want to become an influencer um, that is really having um, a great uh, message to deliver then you're going to be wanting to use this this year now a leader as you may know um, can be lonely and it also can be uh, you know lots of hours and and you know it's kind of lonely at the top kind of thing so you're gonna be working a lot if you choose to use the Southeast, but it can also take you to that next level. So this is for people, The my information are, are really designed more for business people. This can um, reflect into your personal life as well. But if you really are looking for that competitive edge, you're gonna wanna start using the subtle energies of astrology, feng shui, and timing, and of course, universal um, uh, tapping into as well. All right, now I'm going to go to the next slide here. And what we're going to be talking about is the Southeast because um, remember the six kind of follows through. So all of these on the right hand number, this is going to be the annual. And then what we do is we interface it with the um, monthly. So now we are looking at a combination versus an individual. So this is actually a more advanced level, but just listen, I'm trying to make it as simple as and as uh, applicable as possible. So that's one of the things that I hear all the time that, oh, feng shui is, it's kind of difficult. It's, it's really, you know, it, you know, it's, it, there, there's so many things that I have to do. Well, when you think about it, anything that takes a little bit of effort, like let's say you're trying to um, you're trying to lose some weight and you've decided to start a cleanse you've started to um, go to the gym and you could you know fill out all those forms and you can buy all the the things that you're gonna need to do your 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 good cleanse or your your new lifestyle of nutrition you buy all the books you buy all the equipment and you do nothing well you're gonna get probably zero results with the exception of you burned your credit cards to buy all that stuff but you really weren't committed to it if you are committed to your business in a way that i hope you are because the these times we all need to step up all of us do so you need to do something different that you've never done before most likely and really start bringing in not only your own expertise is which i'm trying to have you do this is not a practitioner program this is just helping you get to the ends to the means which is having a successful business so what i'm going to be asking you to do is use these areas and what i mean by using these areas we're going to be like i'm going to tell you to go over in a certain section of your room if you only have a room or your whole building if you have the building to work with and actually have your body be in that vibration. Simple as that. I'm not asking you to do any other feng shui um, activations. Of course, there are number of ones that you can be doing, but then that would be uh, you know a higher investment than a free program that I'm giving you right now. But what we are saying is that even just getting your body and using, and that's really how you use classical feng shui. You keep certain areas quiet and you keep certain areas active. It's the yin and yang. And that's what we're trying to do is balance out your space. Okay, let's go back to our presentation here. All right, so we are looking, as I said, into the um, southeast. So what we want to do is figure out, okay, well, what is the um, southeast good for? Alrighty, hold on just a second here. So basically what we um, are looking at are um, a couple of things when it comes to the Southeast. Of course, we have bringing over, we have that leadership, authority, and influence. So I don't want to get too technical with you, but one is the six is a metal and the two is earth. So basically we have a combination of heaven and and earth, but in a good way, because there's other earth energies and there's other metal energies that may not play 
as well together. But these two are really kind of a, a, a heaven and earth match, if you will. And really what it's saying is this is a great opportunity for um, people with this combination is to really tap into this balance of yin and yang. So by being in this area of your building or the room that you are are you have 100% control over, you can tap into this favorable energy. Now, if you're working with a team or even a community and you're working towards a common goal, this is heaven and earth working together, you will actually find a very big financial gain. So this is one of the areas that I would highly recommend you spending a bit of time with. All right, so then let me go to the next slide. And just yesterday when I was starting to do um, the slides for today, what I decided to do is just add some icons in there. So you could go back, I didn't have this on the first one, but you can go back and I'm just gonna indicate for you, if you see the red there, basically that means the the energy is down. Um, there are some positive and negatives of every sector, but um, I'm really kind of high, highlighting just at a glance where you're gonna wanna spend some time. So for, you know, just recap for yesterday, maybe some some kind of communication problems and watch your spending. Even though a three seven combination can be very good, um, it is um, these, these kinds of things we do need you to watch out for. So again, watch yesterday's video. But for today, the 2-6, the Southeast is very good for partnerships, working with teams, and very good for money, and very good for the two also is considered a very good property or IP. So if you've got some IP that you're working on, a proprietary program, an app, uh, something like that that you want to be rolling out and, and you really want to get some extra boost behind it, spend some time in the South East. Okay, so moving forward, um, I just wanted to let you know if you would like to receive this free compass dial. Now, these are just the annual energies. I'm not doing um, I'm not doing the monthly, but um, as a free. But you can definitely get this. And what you want to do is you want to superimpose this over an accurate floor plan. So somewhere on my channel, I've got you know how to take a compass reading. We'll try to get that into the comments uh, or where I have more descriptions you can you can see that below but really what I want you to understand that this is a very good area for you to work on now in that you're also going to receive my annual compass style so um, we haven't talked too much about this but the southeast in the snake area which is just this little pie shell right here we have the th what's called the three killings going over the southeast now again just take a breath this really is saying don't do any renovations inside inside or outside your property in the southeast, only in this area, but it's very safe to be in these other areas as well. And you could even be in the snake area where you can capitalize on not only this annual energy, but the flying star as well as the... Um, the the monthly so it's perfectly safe to be in there okay so then let's move on and then again the link below if you would like to receive these free dials to superimpose over your floor plans and again you guys if you feel that you've missed the boat because oh it's already halfway through the year well guess what get on the boat we want you to take these last six months because there's certain animals, there's certain directions that you can and will tap into some really vibrant energies. Why let them pass by? Let's, let's get a little invigoration and actually it's gonna help you feel more invigorated. When you're in the positive areas all the time, you are going to feel more vibrant, you're going to to have more energy to do the things that you want to do. You keep staying in some of those negative areas. Your energy is going to continue to go down and you are going to miss opportunities. Your space is a reflection of what's happening in your life. So let's pick it up. And so you got a free ticket here. You don't even need to go through customs to get on this boat. 
get on it and let's go on a wonderful uh, journey here. All right, so um, then let me just briefly tell you about um, time. Now time is a concept that is a very critical thing in feng shui. So even though the time blazer is used and it's personalized to each and every member that we have is that we want to make sure that you choose the good days and good times to make these transitional days. So what it's going to be doing for you is you have 100%. So when you add 33% of your of your astrology, maybe it's, you know, so so, maybe it's downgraded to I don't know. 20 or 15 even because the animals are not favorable for this year well very soon that whole whole matrix is going to change into a different vibration but this is what you got this year that's how you're going to have to play your hand so maybe your space is compromised maybe you have some missing areas what about those who have the southeast completely missing from their floor plan well then you don't get to tap into it and you have to go to a different area because it just doesn't architecturally exists so you can't really do it so it downgrades your feng shui a little bit but what you have 100 percent, absolutely 100 percent choice of is choosing a good day and time to trigger energy to help you make informed decisions so real quick this is just a uh, quick screenshot of what a month view of the time blazer looks like so if you would like to get the free time blazer again there's links below for you to get a free 30-day personalized time blazer to um, help you make informed decisions and no credit card is required for this or any of the other free tools that I have down down below so what you are able to do in one fell swoop is tap into person space and time so there you go there's my forecast for the southeast for today and we'll be back tomorrow to talk about the south see you then have an amazing day bye bye